with unsupervised learning, you don't know what's going to happen. And so the only thing you have is the input. And then you want to find the structure, find the geometry from the input by using the input itself, which is kind of, you know, biting its own tail. Now, this technology is getting more and more mature, even though we are using it for kind of futile tasks. It's kind of toys that we are building at the moment. But if you think about uh, healthcare, medical images, cancer, even financial transaction, these are all domains where this technology can play a, a fundamental role, I believe. If I'm a, a small player, I will never get access to a large amount of information and data. And of course, I can have a fancy model that will not perform. Rich get richer model, right? Like who has the biggest data gets the biggest outcome and the most important outcome by using deep learning. I like to go into the technicalities of synthetic data and, and also the concept of running algorithms without maintaining even privacy in that context. Can you tell us a little bit more on what it is the technology behind it? I remember that back in 2016, uh, as I was used to give a prediction for the next year, the future of AI next year, I said that uh, we would have abandoned completely the field of unsupervised learning. And I was so wrong. Because in fact, unsupervised learning is coming back uh, from the time that Geoffrey Hinton proposed it. So unsupervised learning is in fact the, I would say, the major technology behind the data generation. And uh, more specifically to unsupervised learning, which is of course a, 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 an immense field of research, I'm uh, much more interested in uh, generative models. So generative models are uh, models that can in fact generate, create, labels or classes, on top of which one can build supervised models. There is a lot of usage of supervised learning, especially in industry. Uh, there is uh, very little usage of unsupervised learning uh, for one simple reason. That is, it's unreliable. And uh, it's also much more reliable to think uh, in a supervised fashion. Supervised fashion means that you have a model that you feed with a pair of uh, input and output, so you know what happens before and what you should expect as an answer. You know these things and you just feed the model so that the model can tune the parame its parameters for this to happen, for this input and output to happen. Another idea is uh, about training machine learning models and more specifically deep neural networks with less data. So the biggest problem of deep learning, which is something that is, you know, uh, keeping people skeptical, some people skeptical, is that these models need an impressive amount of data. Of course, who has big data? Well, only big players. Now, what researchers are doing, and I think that's also key for the future, is finding way for deep neural networks to be trained with less and less data, which is an extremely powerful concept because this would democratize AI even more.